commitments. Well, do you ever get that feeling that someone's watching you? Well, if you're in a Tascadero, you could be right. For about a month now, police have been watching a park through newly installed cameras in a tree. Kathy Kredich has been looking into this. So, Kathy, what are police looking for? Well, good evening, Danielle. Police told me they were having a big problem with vandalism and graffiti late at night, so they purchased a mobile observation unit. It's a device that holds four cameras that can point in various directions, and it can be placed anywhere in the city. They want criminals to know from now on they'll be watching. Look up the next time you're at the Atascadero Lake Park and you'll see it. The police department's new eye in the sky. It is mobile. We can mount it in various locations throughout the city uh, depending on its needs. With its four cameras capturing park activities day or night, police can now monitor what goes on 24 hours a day and they don't have to be at the station. The cameras that pan, tilt and zoom can be moved remotely from a desktop computer and the cameras can also be viewed from an iPhone or a smartphone. While it's mostly families enjoying the park by day, police say vandals were out at night. But since the cameras were installed, they say there hasn't been any crime at all. It's a little frightening a little bit to know that there was problem enough to have to go to that step. And for people out at the park Sunday, they say they don't mind being watched. I think that um, we need that in this day and age. But the criminals will, and that's just fine with them. I definitely like it that they're pointing down to catch any tampering that they might have occur, and also the public areas like the restrooms and also the playground. Now police say money from a grant they applied for covers all costs of the camera system, and they also tell me they plan to move the camera to another location in Atascadero, but they didn't say where. Live in the studio, Kathy Koretich, KSBY News.